Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to customise track heights in Pro Tools. If you click just here, you'll see Pro Tools offers you many presets of track heights, ranging from micro all the way to extreme. Let's put that back to medium for a moment. It's also possible to change the heights of multiple tracks simultaneously. You might remember from earlier that holding the Option modifier either means do the opposite or, as in this case here, apply to all. So if I hold the Option key and change my track height to small, as you can see, all the tracks have been affected. Holding the Option and Shift modifiers together, change it to apply to all selected. I can select multiple tracks either by holding the Shift key, which will select all tracks in between my selection, or by using the command key, which allows me to make non-consecutive or non-contiguous selections. Now hold the Option and Shift and change my track height to medium. And you'll see that all three of the selected tracks have their heights affected. It's also possible to have dynamic control of track height. Move the mouse to the boundary between two tracks until the icon looks like this, and click and drag. As you can see, the track height is being changed in steps. While keeping the mouse held down, add the command modifier. This means that my track height changes will be much smoother. Holding the Option key, then clicking, and then dragging, will affect the heights of all the tracks. And of course add the command modifier for a smooth selection. And as you might expect, holding the Option key and the Shift key, clicking, then using the Command key, will only affect the selected track heights. One of the other useful track height options is Fit to Window. This can be done on an individual track basis, or, more conveniently, to all tracks at once. Hold the Option key and change to Fit to Window and the track height is set so all tracks are visible in the edit window. This is a very useful feature, so it's also available as a shortcut. Hold the Control, Option and Command modifiers together, and press the up arrow. In Pro Tools terminology, the Control, Option and Command keys together are known as a power claw. In the next video, we'll be looking at the Select tool.